Hello, welcome back, thanks for joining me. Today I'm looking at the brand new Aqua de Joe Eau de Parfum. So if you wanna see how it stacks up against the Stone Cold Classic Original, stay tuned. If you love fragrance as much as I do, head over to my online store, luxparfum.co.uk. You'll find my favorite brands, plus brands you can't find anywhere else in the UK. Link is in the description. So here it is, the brand new Giorgio Armani Aqua de Joe EDP. At the time I bought this, it wasn't yet available in the UK. I think I got it from a Spanish website. Decent price, actually. But now it seems to have been released in the UK. You can buy it. I've noticed it's at Natino. I think that is currently the only place. So if you wanted to pick this one up, it is now available. I'm not sure about the state yet, but I'm sure it will be there very soon if it isn't already. So I'm always excited to talk about a fragrance that has a good pedigree, a good history. And of course, in 1996, the original Aqua Joe came out, the EDT, and it became very popular very quickly. It was a little bit of a game changer, classic fragrance. Some people still go with this because it's sort of got that fresh, citrus, timeless DNA. And then there's been lots of flankers. The one that probably gets the most love and gets the most talked about is Aqua de Joe Profumo, which I absolutely adore. This is one of my favorite summer fragrances ever. This is fantastic stuff. It may be discontinued, I'm not sure. I heard a few little rumblings that this was replacing this, but this still seems to be available in the UK. Maybe it's just one of those situations where it's discontinued in certain regions for reasons, just, well, reasons. I don't know, but if you can find it, great. Definitely pick up Profumo if you haven't got it already. Maybe just in case it is getting discontinued, if you can still buy it where you are. Maybe, maybe grab it because it is very good if you like marine aquatic style fragrances. So I'm excited to talk about this. I'm going to let you know my thoughts. I'm going to let you know how it compares to the original. Will I end up preferring it to my beloved Aqua de Joe Profumo? You will find out, so keep watching. Before we go any further, let's have a closer look at the bottle and the notes. The notes in Aqua de Joe EDP are sea notes, green mandarin, clary sage, lavender, geranium, mineral notes, vetiver and patchouli. Okay, let's try and determine whether you should buy this new fragrance. I'm gonna start off by comparing it to the OG. So when I sprayed these side by side, the first thing that I noticed is this fragrance, the new EDP, is a little heavier, it's a bit more full-bodied, a bit more rounded, and it's actually sweeter. So I loved all those aspects to the fragrance. The EDT is a thinner fragrance, it doesn't have quite as much weight to it. And one of the things I noticed that this has that the EDP seems to tone down is this cologne note, which gives you this salty marine-like accord. So cologne will give an aqueous feel to a fragrance. And you still get that with the EDP, but I would say to a lesser degree. Now, some of you might be a little bit disappointed because that fresh ozonic quality that the EDT has is one of its best qualities, actually. And whilst you don't get it to the same degree in the EDP, this one has a superb opening. It's fresh, it's juicy, it does have some watery qualities as well. It really pops, it really jumps off the skin, it really gets noticed in a different way to this, but it's a different fragrance. It's not trying to be the same fragrance. So I think that's okay. So fantastic opening and I'm happy to say the fragrance remains fantastic into the mid because we get more of this rindy green mandarin which gives a little bit of tartness, a slight little bit of bitterness but overall the fragrance still remains very nicely rounded with that bit of sweetness in there as well. Also we get the herbal accords becoming more prominent and the lavender so all these notes combined in the mid just give a real classy feel to the fragrance. I'd describe this to you as taking the Aqua de Joe DNA adding some sweetness and some woody depth, toning down the marine-like aqueous qualities a little bit, although it is still there enough for the fragrance to remain light and airy. So this is a very classy, fresh citrus scent that's not breaking the mold, but very nicely done and very enjoyable to wear. Let's do the fragment, starting with performance, which is decent. It projects a bit more than the original and lasts a bit longer than the original. I'm getting around six to seven hours, so really happy with the performance for a fresher scent. It's pretty versatile. You could wear this all year round, although for me personally, I would rather wear it in the heat and I think the heat would help 
boost the performance of it. In terms of when to wear it, I would say it would be a summertime, daytime, casual wear. It does have enough class about it to wear in the evenings, but my personal preference is that I like to wear fragrances with a bit more weight, a bit more depth, gravitas, complexity in the evening. So for example, I would prefer to wear Aqua de Gio Profumo in the evening if you're struggling to get hold of that. A couple of other recommendations, I would go with Tom Ford's Grey Vetiver. This has that freshness, but it's got a nice richness that works really well in the evenings. And also Bleu de Chanel Parfum would be a great summertime evening choice. If you wanted to take things up to another level and go into the niche world, then something fruity and fresh and fairly beastly, actually, you could go with Nishani Hachivat. And my current favorite and one that I'm gonna be wearing a lot this summer is from Memoirs of a Perfume Collector. This is Tales of Zanzibar. This is a, a creamy but tropical, exotic, fruity fragrance. Absolutely love the stuff, very unique. I will leave a link to this in the description if you're interested in picking that one up. I think anyone of any age could wear this, even though it's a little sweeter than the original, it's still not a super sweet fragrance. So sometimes younger guys do prefer sweeter, more bubblegummy fragrances like Invictus. So you might want to just smell this first, but I don't think it leans too mature. In terms of the price, this costs in the UK, 83 pounds for a 75 mil bottle like this. It's also available in a 40 mil and 125 mil. All right, let's sum this up for you. So it's slightly sweeter than the original and it has a little bit more depth, although not as much depth as Profumo and it tones down the marine notes, but it's still very recognizable as an Aqua de Joe fragrance. So I think all in all, this is a really nice release. Should you buy it? If you were never a fan of the original, this one probably isn't gonna change your mind, but if you liked the original and you like the idea of something that's a little sweeter with a bit more depth, slightly better performance, then yeah, I think you should probably buy it. Okay, that's me done. If you have experience with this fragrance, if you've already got it, please let me know what you think. I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments. If you like the video, if you found it useful, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. And if you do that, I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, bye.